this is what happens in the morning when you wake up and you have some sort of very high level um, goals. You have academic goals, you have social goals, career goals, you know, it's very abstract stuff. And in order for you to get out of bed and execute on any of those goals, ions have to be made to move across, across membranes in your muscle cells to get you to walk. That is voluntary motion. So the everyday miracle of voluntary motion is that you're, so, so everybody does this 24 seven, somebody's doing this, that abstract contents of your mind are being transduced to make the chemistry dance. Right, you it's know, if, that's telekinesis. <laughs> that is 100% telekinesis, and and I'm not the first person to point this out. There were there were philosophers in the 40s who actually started out thinking about telekinesis, and they pointed out that actually, probably on the you know uh, on on certain models of the mind body relationship, running your running your body is mm -hmm. basically an example of that. Yeah. I'm not suggest so. So what I'm not suggesting is that there's any kind of weird uh, physics involved here. There may or may not be. I don't have a strong claim on that. What I am suggesting is e even under very traditional understanding of electrophysiology, there is no getting away from, from the fact that if you really want to understand what's going on, it, it is it is fruitless to say that ah, it, it, you know, it's it's just chemistry doing what chemistry does, mm -hmm. right? And it's just quantum foam doing what quantum foam does. But if you want to understand why things happen in the world, why they, they actually happen, you have to understand these higher levels. And that the fact that these ions cross that membrane, ultimately, mm -hmm. because this person wants to go in and take a job interview and whatever, you know, whatever it is that's happening, there's, right, your, 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 your body is a, tra this amazing transducer that, that, that connects those, those levels. And mm -hmm. so, so if that's the case, you know, I, again, I, I don't have any data on on large scale uh, placebo effects other, other than this, the, what I told you about in the in the molecules. But if it's the case that we already have a built in mechanism by which our intent can control the bioelectricity of muscle cells, that's mm. just it's, it sounds crazy, but it's just I mean, that's just another way of saying voluntary motion. Mm then could it not be that we can harness something very very similar to control the bioelectricity of other cell types it doesn't have to be muscle we, we by the way we can already get glands right so 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 not not quite um intentionally although some people can but you know glands and secretion of uh, hormones and this, some of this is also under under um, cognitive control mm -hmm. so uh you know you can you can you can mentally work yourself up towards having an adre you know an adrenaline rush and all these kinds mm -hmm. of things right yeah. so so, yeah. so we already we already have the idea of of being able to mentally trigger specific uh, physiological events in our body who knows what the limits of that are who who said that doing that you couldn't you couldn't activate